April is Distracted Driver Awareness Month, and one of the most distracting items in your car is your phone. Yeah, we do have some good news, though. A new report says fewer people in Michigan are actually looking at their phones while they're driving. The study comes from the nonprofit Governor's Highway Safety Association and Cambridge Mobile Telematics. It finds that the average reduction is nine and a half percent. That's how much fewer minutes people are spending or how much less time people are spending on their phones while driving. And seven traffic anchor Ali Hoxie went out to speak with drivers to see if they think that the numbers match up. So Keenan and Alicia, this was a really interesting day for me to speak to drivers because I went to two separate locations to talk to people, an EV charging station in Livonia and then a gas station in Dearborn. And what struck me, those EV station drivers said that they've seen fewer people on their phones. However, those filling up at the pump say they still see it happening all the time. It's so easy to tell, you know, when people are distracted, when they're ahead of you, because you see them moving you know, from side to side. Do you think the law is working? No. In June, a hands-free driving law went into effect here in Michigan, something Larry Ely tells me he stressed to his grandson. I just taught my grandson how to drive. That was one of the main things I stressed to him, not to use your phone while you're driving. So I think uh, it's not enforced like it should be. So you think enforcement needs to be stepped up? I think so, but I'm sure there's a... Uh, more things that's more urgent to enforce than that. If you do get caught, the first offense is a $100 fine, the second a $250 fine. A third time within a three-year period will land you in a court-ordered driver improvement course. Do you see a lot of people talking on their phone? Yes, I see that too. Even though we, we have the technology people, you know, that's why it's up there on your dash. But yeah, I see it every day. Robert Brown just so happens to drive for Lyft and Andrew Stallworth works for Uber. Do you think the law has been working? No, because I see a lot of young people still with that phone in their hand, and I, I think it's a very dangerous thing. But those driving EV are seeing it differently. By the way, what kind of car is this? Because this is really cool. It's a Model X. Model X? Yeah. It's pretty nice. Thank you. <laughs> Dominic Swayze depends on his phone a lot for work. What do you do for a living? I'm a psychiatric nurse practitioner. People I work with, they all say, oh, I can't, I can't even answer. Like, even the doctors I work with, they tell me, I can't answer my phone right now. You got to reach me later because I got to use, I mean, hands-free now. He and others charging up say they've noticed less people on their phone while driving, whether it's advancements in technology. I have a car that actually actively tells me to put my phone down if it sees it. There's a camera inside the, the front of the car. Or the fear of having to pay a ticket. Do you think it's because of the law that was enacted about a year ago? Yes. <laughs> yeah? Yes. That for sure has something to do with it. You want to get tickets, pull it over, yeah. Would you be surprised if I told you that there actually has been a decrease according to a new study? I don't believe that. Not based on what I see in this area. That same study estimates the law prevented more than 2,400 crashes, 11 deaths, and 1,400 injuries, and not to mention $98 million in savings for drivers that they would be spending fixing up their car after these crashes. Oh. Yeah, and you know, he called out younger drivers, but I see all kinds of people on their phone. Yeah, you know, it's kind of a mixed bag. Sometimes I feel like we're good to go, and then other times I'm like behind a slow driver, and yeah. I go to pass, and they're talking on their phone. Or at a red light, a traffic light. Oh, yeah, it's still, still illegal. against the law, right. even at a red light. Good point, Alicia.